So it has been a very long time, at least that's what it feels like, uh, since I have uploaded a video to my YouTube channel. And I know that my YouTube channel is long overdue for a video, so I thought that I would titty slap you with a Far Cry 5 review. Um, basically, there's a few things that I wanted to say prior to starting the review. One is that I don't do YouTube as a full-time thing nor a part-time thing. I do it as a hobby, so if I have priorities... Um, and more important things to do, I will focus on my priorities over, you know, my hobby. And that's just me being brutally honest. But I did want to, you know, actually make a review so I don't neglect my channel because um, I feel like you guys, you know, all the 70 plus subscribers that I do have deserve some quality content and a quality and honest non-biased review of Far Cry 5. And when I say non-biased, I mean I don't have a bias towards the publisher. Pub see I'm stuttering publisher nor the developer of the game um, just to get that out there um, this is a very brutal and honest uh, non-biased review of Far Cry 5 so I'm going to talk about uh, a few things I also wanted to mention that uh, the story is driven by um, somewhat politics but al also like religious um, stuff so I don't just as a heads up I don't want to offend anybody but I will be talking just about the story and based around the story and how it has to do with like radical religion or whatever basically the story so just as a heads up I don't want to offend anybody um, so I would say muscle through it it's not I'm not trying to offend anybody I'm for the most part I'm probably gonna offend um, the father Joseph seed by talking shit about him I guess but um if he was a real person, I'm saying, you know. Um, so, I'm going to go down the list of things um, that are kind of like embedded in my mind and how I should structure this review video. And I think I should start with talking about, you know, obviously graphics, uh, the sound quality. Uh, I will not be talking about replayability because there's so much to do in this game. There is no point of, you know, talking about replayability because there's so much shit to do. Obviously, I'm going to be talking about the story, uh, the four protagonist and the main protagonist which is jo uh, joseph seed um and then i'm going to be talking or the father i'm um, also going to be talking about uh, obviously uh, the mechanics of the game and ultimately do a full-on you know from zero to ten um you know kind of my score of the game um <clears throat> so i'm going to start by talking about graphics um, if you want the best graphic uh experience um you know an ultra uh hd graphics you're going to pr probably end up playing this on, you know, laptop or desktop or PC, basically, um, where you can have high settings uh, for graphics and all that kind of stuff. And your experience will be amazing on PC. Um, for the Xbox One X, uh, they have an enhanced version of this game, so the graphics are pretty damn crispy on the Xbox One X. However, I'm playing this on console, but only on the Xbox One. So, for... For what it is, the graphics are actually not bad on the Xbox One. Uh, matter of fact, the graphics are quite stunning uh, and quite amazing. Um, I feel there's a lot of um, what you would call, you know, if you go to certain points of the map and you kind of go high up and you kind of overlook the map, you really truly get to see the beauty of the creation of the map. The map is huge, by the way. Um, so I have to say, overall, the graphics are quite stunning and amazing, even on console, even on the Xbox One. Um, when it comes to sound quality, I think the sound quality of this game is uh, quite amazing. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, going through the woods and having crazy, strange encounters, um, you kind of get to hear a lot. So you get to hear nature, and, uh, like, if you were almost there, pretty much. So there's a huge emphasis on sound in nature, uh, based on my experience. I think it's great. You know, you can hear birds and... Uh, all sorts of animals and you know you, you just kind of feel like you're there almost it's very immersive based around sound so I really have to give them props for the sound quality of the game um, now off to the story because I'm trying to keep this video not I'm not trying to make this video too long but this video will be a little bit longer than normal I think I've already mentioned that probably repeated myself two or three times already but um uh, when it comes to the story the story is driven um, very much based around politics and religion and I know that some people might be like oh no he's gonna be talking about religion uh, I'm gonna click off the video well I'm not talking about religion 
based on me. I'm talking about religion based on the game. So I don't uh, like clearly I'm not here to offend anybody based on their religion. Um, I'm trying to talk about the psycho known as Joseph Seed. Um, so Joseph Seed, uh, I feel like the main protagonist, the father, uh, I believe that from his humble beginnings, when he first started his like cult or his religious movement or whatever you would call it, um, he had good intentions. He was not trying to hurt anyone, and he probably was a really nice guy. Um, but somewhere down the line, something happened, and I feel like he got more radicalized in his views. And for the record, I have to say, you can take any religion in today's uh, time, in 2018, and you can turn any religion into a radical form of a religion. You can make a off-branch or a faction of a religion that is not intended to be radical, and you can turn it into something radical. Matter of fact, you can take any ideology or any kind of viewpoint on anything and turn it into a radical viewpoint. So you can take something as simple as bath salt or bath soap or toothpaste and you can make radical toothpaste. If you really wanted to, you can take any object and make it radical. You can take any ideology and make it radical. So you can't, what I'm trying to say is you can't claim that everything is peaceful when you can make anything radical. I can make this video extremely radical if I wanted to. But I'm choosing not to, uh, just for the record. But um, what I'm trying to say is basically the, the you know the protagonist is driven by you know I guess from his humble beginnings b based around something that wasn't intended to be radical or violent or aggressive towards anyone, and he turned and flipped it into something radical based around what's going on in his fucked up head, basically, and it gives you that kind of perspective where. You almost kind of question and second guess yourself in general uh, when you play this game if you have any kind of religious uh, belief or view and you're like, wow, well this is a little bit insane, uh, which is good. I like that aspect where you question everything. I like that aspect where you uh, are so immersed where you think about yourself when you play this game in a way. I really like that aspect of the game and that's what makes the story so compelling and so good. Um, there is four protagonists and there's a main protagonist. Uh, so there's Joseph Seed, um, the father, and then he has three siblings. He has John Seed, Jacob Seed, and Faith Seed. Um, from my experience in the game, I already cleared John's region and Jacob's region. I started a little bit on Faith's region. I did a little bit over there in Faith's region, but I haven't completed that yet. But based on my experience, I have to say that every character from John to Jacob has a little bit of their own perspective of uh, Joseph Seed's initial base form of this radical view or ideology or religion or whatever you would call it or political movement, whatever you would consider this uh, particular, um, whatever this death call basically, what some people would call it. Um, John and Jacob have their own viewpoints and their own, like, almost like their own mindset and, like, their own idea and concept of it. And it's really interesting how each protagonist encounters, or, or the encounters that you have with each protagonist, you have kind of a different perspective and different experience from that particular protagonist based around, because they all appreciate Joseph Seed, they all have their own view uh, or spin-off of what Jacob is preaching, basically. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. Um, so overall, you know, the protagonist, he's he's good, but he's no Pagan Min. Pagan Min was my favorite villain, uh, just for the record, out of the Far Cry series. Um, I, You know, the father, Joseph Seed, he's a good protagonist. I like the story. I like the story more than I like the protagonist, but I wish they would do more to the story. I wish they would put more controversial things into the story. Um, and I really wish that, you know, like they did good on the characters for the most part, or the protagonist. But they should have touched more, made it more harsh when it comes to the uh, story. You know, they could have made, uh, you know, a little bit, made, made a little bit harsher. Um just in general but um i do like the story i do like the protagonist 
Um, and when it comes to just in general, um, the game like and the game mechanics, because that's the last point that I wanted to talk about, the mechanics in the game are kind of like, uh, you know, your typical Far Cry game. Not much has changed when it comes to the mechanics. Yes, there's a couple, like, maybe extra little things. You can play stealthy. You can go in guns blazing. Um, you can do half and half. You can go partially stealth and then finish off everybody with guns blazing. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, decent variety of weapons. I really wish there was more weapons and more variety of weapons. You have a slingshot. You have a bow and arrow. I think that's kind of a cool, neat addition, which is a slingshot. Um, and there's different AIs and different character, or well, different AIs or different enemies. Um, you know, there's heavies and, you know, regular uh, guys. Some guys take a little bit more bullets to take down. And sometimes you have to place your shots a little bit better and go for headshots and this and that. Um, and overall, the mechanics of the game, they're not bad. Uh, they're your, like your typical Far Cry game. Um, uh, I believe that nothing really has changed when it comes to the actual mechanics of the game. Maybe a couple of things here and there. Um, and basically, the game is good. I do like the game. I, I do plan on finishing the game and kind of doing like, you know, my assessment of the game after I complete it, which will be, you know, maybe in a few weeks. Um, but as of right now, um, I want to give the game an official rating and I'll explain why my rating is what it is. Um, from 0 to 10, 0 being the worst, 10 being the best, I would give this game a 7.5 or 7.5. And, and the reason for that is, uh, obviously, I do like the story, but I feel that the protagonist or the main protagonist could have been more harsher and more sinister and more evil, kind of like almost like Pagan Men, because Pagan Men was my favorite villain in the Far Cry series. And I believe that comparing, you know, Joseph Seed, the father, to Pagan Men, Pagan Men definitely takes the, you know, you know, I guess the award for being my favorite, personally, my favorite villain. So, I guess that's all I really got to say about Far Cry 5. In general, the game is good. They have an arcade mode where you can play other people's created maps or you can create a, uh, create a map. I think that's going to be like another video that I will make once I get used to the mechanics on console on how to make a map and you know hopefully then i can maybe kind of give you guys kind of like the description of the map so you guys can actually play maps that i would create it would be interesting uh to do a couple maps like that um and actually make videos of that so look forward to that in the future overall i really like this game uh i, I think it's good uh if they you know made the protagonist just a little bit more sinister a little bit more evil um or you know i guess made him I don't, I don't know, a little bit different because uh, apparently they promised to spark a lot more controversy in this game but they didn't deliver full controversy in this game because maybe they were kind of scared to be liable for you know uh you know for offending they, they didn't want to offend too many people but i don't think you know the whole concept or fear of offending people should exist in the gaming industry the gaming industry and video games are not they, they, you should not care about politics uh, on, the, on the level of actual politics where you're afraid that you might offend somebody. It, it shouldn't matter. It's a game. It's only a game and that's that's the point. It's, you're supposed to immerse yourself in something that is close to being real but it's not the real thing basically. Um, so overall really like this game. 7.5 uh, or 7.5 is my rating out of 10. Um, hopefully you did enjoy this review. Uh, try to keep it short and sweet and to the point which I actually feel like about 14 minutes is perfect so if a little over 14 minutes but if you did like this review if you did like the commentary if you did like the video definitely hit that like button definitely subscribe um hit that bell but most important let me know what you think leave me a comment i'll try to get back to you as soon as i possibly can so all i gotta say i'm the mitten 